Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 419 899 2020. Myself or my brother Levi would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2011 Pleasureway Lexor TS with a rare enclosed wet bath and 55,492 miles. All right, folks, here we are inside of this 2011 Pleasureway Lexor TS. As usual, we're going to start in the front, work our way towards the rear. Try to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are a family owned and operated dealership since 1976, started by Levi and I's mom and dad. Today we specialize in hard to find small motorhomes like this Pleasure Way. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We're a no pressure sales place. Spend as much time or as little time as you like looking through these units before purchase. We'll go through a full demo with you before you leave, so that way you'll be fully comfortable with your new unit. This particular specimen, my wife and I flew to Washington, D.C. to pick this up. We have a preview video. You can check that out in the link in the description, or we'll drop one on the screen. We had a great time checking out the cherry blossoms. In honor of that trip, we have decided to name this Pleasure Way Van Buren. Let's get going on Van Buren here. We have the levels test. We've got your gray, black, fresh water tank as well as your coach battery. Got your water pump on off switch. Generator start stop that has a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified owning technicians. Got 58 hours on that. We have the water heater on off. Got a light switch for over the kitchen area. Some stash rail up top. Got an easily accessible entryway here. Fire extinguisher, railing to help you get in and out. 110, porch light switch as well as the switch for some of the overhead lights. This window does open, does not have a screen, but it does have a curtain. Moving now towards the kitchen area. Aluminum backsplash, Got a nice Corian countertop, two burner propane cooktop, single basin stainless sink, got your fuse panel down here. Got your coach battery on and off as well as some wiring connections. The coach battery disconnect is this red key that will disconnect the coach battery from all of the rest of the systems inside. It will also disconnect the charging systems, which are the alternator while the engine's running, the shore power plug-in, or the generator. Swing around here, check out the three-way fridge, freezer. So we got the freezer portion up top. This is a three-way, meaning it runs on 110, so your shore power plug-in or your generator, 12 volt or DC, so your coach battery. You will want to have something charging that, like the engine while you're driving, or the propane gas. That's all controlled via the buttons here. We recommend leaving that on the auto setting, and that will take care of you for most of the time. Got a fantastic fan overhead in the center. We've got the uh, crank rod for the TV antenna. You do not necessarily have to have this up to get reception. While we were in DC, we did get very good reception with that down. Granted, we were very close to a big city. Got a sink thing there inside of the storage department. We've got a Cool Cat AC heat pump in the rear that runs off of the shore power plug-in or the generator. 
the heat pump will function down to around 40 or 50 degrees. Below that, you'll have to use the propane furnace. Back here in the sleeping area, we have windows that open on both sides with screens. This window does open, this one does not. The rear windows do not have screens. However, we have the privacy curtains all the way around. We have two seat belts on the rear couch bed that will give four seat belts total in this unit. This is a power sofa in the rear. Go ahead and drop a picture and show you what that looks like made up. The twin sleepers measure approximately 72 inches long and 24 inches wide on the driver's side and 67 inches long by 24 inches wide on the passenger side. This is a very popular sleeping setup in a camper van as it allows you to easily swing your legs out at night and go to the bathroom without crawling over one another. If you make up the big bed in the back, it will measure approximately 67 inches to 72 inches front to back and 70 inches side to side. This unit is technically designed for two, but you could potentially sleep three people lying either direction in this bed if so desired. Below the couch in the rear, we do have a storage compartment back here. You can access this storage compartment via the rear entry doors as well. We have a compartment here. You can access the back of the water here. We have another storage compartment here. There are a few blemishes on this cabinet door, particularly there from where it hits the table mount on the floor. see there here we are sitting in the couch bed at the rear of the rv we've got hard surface flooring throughout this unit including vinyl flooring in the front making this unit very easy to keep clean we've got about 72 and a half inches headroom in the main part of the coach we've got a smoke detector up there we also have the microwave opposite the kitchen the microwave runs on the shore power or the generator only we have the control for the overhead cool cat AC heat pump. So you'll use that just like your regular house thermostat. You can use that for the propane furnace as well. So all of your climate control is through this unit. We have an on off switch for some of the overhead lights in the rear, as well as the button for the power sofa. So you'll just push that button when it's time for bed. Got your DVD player. TV is built on a door that can swing out to face the front. Both of the front seats swivel, however, the passenger chair will get a much better view. You can watch TV from the front if you'd like. Behind the TV, we have two 110 outlets, 12 volt plug in, as well as an inverter setup. This inverter setup will allow you to watch the TV off of the coach battery while you're boondocking. That was very convenient while we were in DC. The TV also goes to the surround sound speakers up top on both sides. My wife even commented how nice the sound was in the rear here while we were watching TV and movies at night. We also have a switch here that will turn the entire TV setup on and off. So you'll want to turn that off when you're not using the TV to avoid parasitic draw. We've got a 110 outlet down here. Got a counter flip out as well as another 110 outlet that's accessible while you're sleeping. Do you have the rear lights as well as a few reading lights up above right where I'm sitting that you can control via the switches right on those units. Those are reading lights for bedtime. That way you can turn those on and off whenever you'd like. The wardrobe closet. We do have a table leg as well as the boards that make up the big bed in the back. So that is the board set that you will use to span the gap. A noxious gas detector below. Why did the founding fathers have such a hard time giving dates? Because they were revolting. Check out the bathroom and why I've been using the unicorn pointer for this unit. So normally in the pleasure way Lexors and straight body vans like the Road Trek 190 or 170, you have the aisle style bath shower. In this particular Lexor unit, we do have the enclosed wet bath. We've got a mirror there that is not a medicine cabinet, so there's no storage in that mirror. We've got the shower head, we've got a window. Easily accessible. Go ahead and get inside of here. I'll show you what this is like for a 6'3", 230, 240 feller like myself. So I can get it here and close the door. As you can see, there's not a lot of room left or right. Not necessarily as big as the Caesar's Palace bathroom, 
but it is definitely functional and is nice to be able to contain the toilet and shower area inside of a van that is a straight body van like this. We've got the propane furnace that runs via the 12 volt coach battery to provide the fan to work and propane gas to provide the heat. Got another wardrobe closet here with a table as well as your manuals down in the bottom in that bag. Got some storage space throughout in the front. I stopped the video to see if there's any blemishes I was missing before I wrapped up the inside tour. There is a small ding on the bathroom door there, as well as down there. And a few marks on the entry handle, assumingly from rings or something like that. Very, very hard to find many flaws on this unit. Van Buren is very, very clean inside and out. My wife even asked, do we really have to get rid of this one? I think you'll really, really like this one if this is what you're looking for, a unique unit with this bathroom inside of here. I'm going to call this one a 9.5 out of 10. Check it out at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. Up here in the cabin area, we do have a privacy curtain that pulls all the way around the front to provide privacy at night. That will meet with this curtain in the center. We've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. We've got very clean seats as well as this vinyl floor that makes it easy to keep clean. It's hard to say for sure. Some people's noses are more sensitive than others, but I would call this one a non-smoker. We've got a very fancy radio here that's got CD player, Bluetooth, Sirius, backup camera, um, navigation, got a USB in as well. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2011 Pleasure Way Lexor TS, nicknamed Van Buren. Van Buren measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual Fiamma awning. It has four Firestone tires with 3116 date codes. This RV is built on a Chevy 3500 chassis with a six liter V8 engine with 55,492 miles. A very nice looking exterior on Van Buren here. Lots of shine, decals in good condition. <clears throat> Got your porch light, back of the refrigerator. Got two 110 outlets here in case you'd like to plug in beneath the awning. Coach battery. We've got the clevis for running the awning legs down. I prefer to run the awning legs directly to the ground. That way you can't walk into the awning. If you run it here, it will be right about here where you would have the awning leg and you can run into that when you're coming around the corner. You have the other one up on the front door and you can run both of those legs straight to the ground. Those are inside of the awning itself. We've got the generator exhaust. Got your backup camera. We do have some storage beneath the couch in the rear. There's a door that you can access inside the RV to access the storage area. Also got some tire kit there. Got your awning crank and center rafter here. Got your propane tank. We do have some paint boo-boos where that door must have not been latched properly and was causing some rubbing from vibration. Got a tow package. spare tire on the door. This is one of the only spots you can really see any decal aging. For some reason these spare tire covers tend to age before the rest of the unit on a lot of the pleasure ways and road treks that we see. Coming around to the driver's side, got your toilet vent up top, got the back of the water heater. We've got a compartment here that has a sewer hose storage. It's got your city water connection, so you'll run the water hose in there. That will provide pressure for your sink, shower, and toilet. It will bypass the fresh water tank and go straight to those items. If you want to fill the fresh water tank, you'll have to use the fresh water fill. We have a cable TV hookup. We've got the shore power connection for the 110 shore power. We've got an outside shower here. You can't see it because the door is blocked, but you can wash your shoes off, kids, or pets. We've got your sewer drains here. So you got your black and your gray. So you pull the black first, that'll let the toilet go. And then your gray, that will flush that clean with the sink and shower water. Got a storage compartment here, power cord, some other water goodies. We have your fresh water fill. So this is where you will put the water hose to fill the onboard fresh water tank. You'll have to use the water pump to get the water out of that tank. Got the exhaust for the propane furnace. Take another closer look at the stripes here on Van Buren. 